Hey guys, today I have a pretty cool padlock called the Castle Lock. And immediately from the keyway, you can see it's pretty unique. I've never seen a keyway like this before. It looks kind of like an H. And uh, it's got some pretty tight warding in there too. As you'll see, this thing is full of pins. Let's take a look at the key here. It's kind of a cool hybrid style key with um, these dimple cuts here on the side. And then it's got some like normal pin tum vertical pin tumbler style cuts at the top there. Now it's, a, it's, it's split in half, you see. So it's kind of like two keys in one and it's the same key on both sides. So on each side, you could count, we have four dimples and then three cuts at the top and three cuts at the bottom. So that's uh, 10 pins on this side and 10 pins on this side. So that's 20 pins total coming at all angles, coming from all directions. So when I first tried picking this, my picks got caught in between those pins. It was kind of a pain. Uh, sticking to some flags and hooks in there kind of get jammed up. So I have to play around with several of my picks to try to find the best way to uh, manipulate those pins. And I'll show you that in the next section. Uh, let me show you the packaging for this lock. Here, it's kind of an old lock. I think it's from the 90s. Here's some pat numbers if you guys want to look those up. Uh, here it says four-sided tubular pins, whatever that means. Uh, all right, let's see what else it says. Case hardened, blah, blah, blah. And here it is, virtually pick proof. So that's our challenge for today to try to prove that wrong. And it has all sorts of other features. Let me operate it for you, just like this. Unfortunately, this thing can be shimmed. You can see that Lock and Dog there actually has a lot of room to be shimmed there. That's unfortunate. But uh, cool keyway. So actually, I have a smaller version of this lock I want to show you. It's a 30 millimeter. And it's very similar, but it also has some differences. You can see, first of all, that the H's are different uh, in how wide open they are. The small padlock has a much more wide open keyway. And it's less restrictive warding and, than this one here. And also, let me compare the keys. You can see they both have that dimple section there. And I'll zoom in here. They both have that dimple section there. But the cuts at the top are different. You see the cuts on this one are coming from the like a vertical direction. Whereas on this key, they're coming at an angle. So uh, not sure why they did that. But these are, you know like a more classic cut and these are kind of like an angled dimple cut. We could see those angled dimple pins coming from the corners of the, the H on the small padlock here. And this one operates just like this. In fact, uh, another difference is this small padlock cannot be shimmed because it has a different style locking dog here. See, so it's like a rotating disc. So um, I'm not sure why they would do that. Uh, but for if we compare them, I guess this big one would be harder to cut and harder to pick, but easier to shim. This one is easier to cut, cannot be shimmed, and it's easier to pick because you have much more room and you can see exactly what you're doing in there. So those are some interesting differences between the two sizes. I think I'm going to try to pick this one for you since it's harder. It's got a tighter keyway. And uh, I'll get my tools and I'll try to do that for you in the next section. All right, guys. So with so many pins in this lock, the most efficient way to pick it is going to be by raking because uh, almost certainly this doesn't have any security pins and you got a lot of pins to deal with. So you got if you want to go quickly at all, it's probably best to try to rake the thing. So... I'm going to try to do that for you now. Let me see if I could get a good angle. I'm going to use this small pry bar here. Let's see. Uh, what about here? Yeah, that's good. All right, so um, let's get a good angle here. I'm going to be using this S rake snake rake type deal that I got from Noza 36 and I really love this rake. I don't know what it is about this rake, but uh 
it just, <laughs> I've opened so many locks with it. And uh, I'm going to be using it here today because it's just thin enough and flat enough to move in and out of the keyway without getting stuck too bad. And so if Noza, if you're watching this, thank you again for such great picks. So um, here we go. Uh, let's, I developed a method here in which I go in and then swipe out, right? So... <laughs> I know it's kind of like a specific action. So I'm going to go in, try to in the between those, those dimple pins there. And then I'll go pick a channel and slide out, right, to try to hit those. And so I'm going to do that here on this side. Oops. Do that again. This top section here. Flip the pick around. Do it on this side. Kind of jammed in there. There you go. Swipe out. I, I'm pretty sure I've already made some progress because I felt the core turn already. So let's uh, let's try that. Make sure I didn't miss anything on this side. Okay. Then I'm gonna go in on this side and swipe. Oops. Go in on this side and swipe out. Hopefully I'm not oversetting anything. Otherwise I'm gonna have to start over. Get in there. See this keyways kind of a pain. Okay, and then swipe this way, and then again, and again, and uh, now I'm now when I feel confident I've touched everything that's binding here, I have to switch the tension because that is blocking. In fact, actually, let me. Yeah, that's blocking that. So let me switch wrenches here. Let's see if I could do this without messing it up. Let's see. Right, so let's continue. Where's my pick? All right. Sorry. All right, let's. Now I've lost track of where that is, but it doesn't matter. I guess I'll just keep going. Uh, let's see. In to the side. In to the side. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yes. Nice. There it is, raked open. Excellent. The magic pick strikes again. Love this damn rake. So, uh, yeah, with so many pins in there, it's only logical you try raking. And luckily, I found one that works. Uh, I have others that did not work. And uh, so... Anyway, I'm glad I had this thing. So there it is, the castle padlock. Virtually pick-proof, maybe not. Um, but still cool to have for the collection because I've never seen such an oddly shaped keyway. So hope you liked the video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.